Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And this is a get to know you Corona tag. Um, it's 14 questions. I'm put them down below, and at the end, I'm going to name five people that I would like to see do this. Anyway, what is your name, and who named you? Everybody knows my first name. I'm not going to say it because it would just cause drama because my name has been stolen. My middle name is Kathleen. Um, who named you? My mother and her best friend. My mother's name, first name was the same as mine. I have a cousin with the same first name. I have a granddaughter with the same first name. Who named you? Was her and Kathleen her best friend? How many siblings do you have? I have one brother and one sister alive. I have two deceased brothers who were my favorites. Um, half siblings, I can't count them. I don't even know anymore. I mean, there's a lot of them. Were you close to your cousins growing up? No, I was not. And here's the sad thing. I am Facebook friends with my cousins they grew up one town over from me. I never met them. They still live back home. I don't. Um, their mother hated my mother. So we were never allowed to meet. I met one of them, one of the boys, as an adult. And I met one of the girl's daughters as an adult. I mean, like in the last six years. And my other cousins all live up in New York, so, and Connecticut, and no, we never knew each other existed until I started doing the family research. I am Facebook friends with them. They come to Florida to vacation. I still haven't met them, so no, we do not have a close family. Did you or do you have a special bond with your grandparents? Okay, my mother's parents were both deceased before I was born. Uh, my mother's mother passed away when she was 15, I believe it was. I believe my brother, who was three years older than me, had just been born when my mother's father passed away. My dad's mother passed away when he was 16. Um, his father I knew until I was six, and yes, I was extremely close to him. I was a Paul Paul's little girl. Um, his second wife, who was my step-grandmother, I knew her all my life. I knew her into my adulthood. My children knew her. She was my grandmother, and I worshipped that lady. I loved her, and she loved me. I spent a lot of time with her, as did my children. Did, number five, did you enjoy high school? Eh, <laughs> as much as anybody, I guess. I mean, it, looking back on it now, it's such an insignificant part of my life. Back then, it was a big deal, but now I think, eh, it was just, you know, something you had to do every day to pre prepare you to go to a job every day. Number six, what are your hobbies? Gardening is my main one. Um, I love to paint. I dabble in crafting. I love to sew. Um, I love camping. I don't know if camping's a hobby. It's more of a way of life now than it used to be a hobby. I have a lot of hobbies, don't I? Okay, what do you do to relieve stress? Since I was about nine years old, I started getting bullied at school a lot by older boys. Like, I was like in the third grade, and they were seventh and eighth graders. And they picked on me a lot. I don't know why. Um, one of them actually pushed me off of a bike one day and shattered my kneecap against the curb. So, you know, I had to have a knee replacement when I was a child. So, um, my mother introduced me to journaling. 
And because I was one of these kids that would just clam up, I wouldn't, you know, tell what was going on. I wouldn't say what was bothering me. So she gave me a journal to write in. To this day, I still write in journals. I have every journal I've ever completed um, from the time I was a child to now. I write in my journals. I put down my emotions and my feelings in writing. And I get it off my chest. And that relieves my stress. Um, who is the longest friend you've had in your life? Whew. That's number eight. Who is the longest friend you've had in your life? When I was five years old, this little redhead girl moved in next door to me. I was always a tall kid for my age. I'm a tall woman. I'm five nine. Um, she was just the cutest little bitty thing, and I kind of thought she was like a doll baby. <laughs> we were friends for 58 years. We did everything together. Our lives patterned each other. Um, I gave birth to a son. A year later, she gave birth to a son. My first husband's name was Johnny. Her last husband's name was Johnny. She moved to Florida. I stayed in Virginia. She moved to Virginia. I moved to Florida. I mean, our lives just pattern each other. She was there for me through everything. Everything. When my parents passed away, she was there with me. When her parents passed away, I was there with her. Um... We lost her to cancer a few years back. My brother died, and she was so sick with cancer that she couldn't get out of her bed. And I was on the way to his memorial service. And what happened is my brother and my nephew both died the same day. Um, my nephew found out about my brother's death and was rushing to get to his mother. And a lady ran a stop sign and hit him and killed him. So we had to have a double memorial. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done. And she called me. And she said, where are you? And I told her. And she said, turn around and come and get me. I said, John, you can't go. She said, don't tell me what I can do. Come and get me. Do you think I would ever let you go through something like this by yourself? So um, I turned around and I went back and I said, are you sure about this? She said, I'm positive. She went with me. She didn't really act like she was that sick. Two days later, she was gone. She was more like my sister to me than anybody ever has been in my life. She was just everything to me. And I loved her with all my heart and still do. But I know I'm going to see her again soon. So that makes it all better. Okay, number nine. What is your favorite movie? I'm not a movie person. I don't watch a lot of TV. I don't watch a lot of movies. Um, if I had to pick a movie, I would say it would be the Hunger Games series. What is your favorite book? Okay, again, <laughs> I love to read. I like mostly mysteries. I can't say I have an absolute favorite book. I'm the type of I've seen a movie once or I've read a book once. I don't want to do it again. That's enough. I've seen it. I've read it. But anything that is a mystery, I love. What is your favorite thing to do on a stormy day? <laughs> okay. Y'all are going to think this was totally insane. We had a sunroom put on our back porch. It's hot here in Florida. And we do get some good rains. I asked the guy to put a tin roof on it. And when we have a storm, I open up the French doors in the den, and I just sit and smell the rain. There is no better smell in this world than rain. And listen to that rain hit that tin roof. I just love it. It's relaxing. It's peaceful. 
It reminds me of the times I spent with my grandmother. She had a tent roof. I loved it. Number 12. What is your favorite thing to do when the weather is perfect? Absolutely always going to be go to the woods. Be out in nature. Just, you know, walk into the woods, take a recliner and a good book and just sit there. Just, you know, listen to nature sounds around me. If we do get reincarnated, I want to come back as a giant oak tree because I'm allergic to oaks now. <laughs> so I'm hoping in my next life I won't be. But I just want to be a huge tree in a forest somewhere that can hear all the sounds. Okay, number 13. Do you prefer the big city or a small town? Grew up in a small town, now live in a big city. Get me a small town any day. But preferably, I would really truly rather be out in the country. Just rural. I want, I want to retire. I want my last days to be spent out in the country with nobody near me. Even one acre is fine. I'm not going to be greedy, but just a little cabin on one acre. That's all I need. I just want to be able to see the deers come up in the yard. I want to have ducks. I want to have chickens. I want to have free range chickens. You know, I don't want pigs. I've had pigs before. Never again. I do want a horse again. I miss having a horse. Okay, number 14. What is the first thing you want to do when the pandemic is over? Go to the woods. Absolutely. I want to go and sit. I want to watch the deer come out at dusk. I want to just be in nature. Absolutely be in nature. So, I'm naming five people that I want to do this. Because I want to know your answers. Number one. Sabrina Crafty Mom and Zach. I want y'all to answer these together. Number two. Aaron Costner, because after what you told me today about your honeymoon, I wonder how many of these answers we have that are similar. Number three, Mary, the Ozark Lady Cooks. I want to know your answers to a lot of these. Four, Kath, K-A-P-H-E, D, the letter D. And because you just commented on my last video. And number five is the legendary YouTuber. You comment on my videos all the time. I want to know more about you. Um, so yeah. Answer these questions and tell us about you. These, this is a good one. I liked this one. So anybody else that wants to do it, um, I'll put the questions down below copy the questions tell us about yourself I think this is a good relaxing one to do I think it's a good informative one to do and it's fun I mean let's just have fun right now okay guys thanks for watching bye bye